In this box is something that can improve the quality of your 3D prints, save you time, and reduce wear and tear in your 3D printer. What is it? Stick around and find out. It's in today's video. All right, what's up everyone? Back at it again. It is DW Darkwing Dead. And today I have a little mystery box, something that is gonna help you improve the quality of your 3D prints. It's gonna save you time and frustration and reduce wear and tear in your 3D printer. So what is it exactly? Let's crack it open and find out. It is a filament dehydrator. So I've talked a lot about filament dehydrators and how very, very important they are. This filament dehydrator is courtesy of Fix Dry. They have a nice selection of different filament dehydrators that work super efficient. Uh, they can hold multiple spools anywhere from one to four. And they also carry a nice selection of PLA to help you in your 3D printing adventures. Obviously, we know the main function of a filament dehydrator is to pull moisture out of the filament. Uh, sometimes it just happens. Sometimes these filaments sit in warehouses for months and months at a time. Seals break, moisture gets in there, and then you're unfortunately left with the aftermath. Even if you have a quality filament from some of the bigger names, like I said, it can still happen. And running a filament dehydrator is really a fall safe that's gonna guarantee you that there's gonna be no moisture in your filament and you're gonna get an awesome result in your print. Truth be told, moisture and filament can do a lot more than just give you a so-so print. It can actually beat your machine up. So what I'm gonna do is crack this machine open, give you a look at it, show you all the functions, and then explain some of the additional pros that using a filament dehydrator is gonna to bring to you. Without any further ado, let's take a look at the latest from Fix Dry. All right, so here is a bird's eye view of the Fix Dry NT1 is the model. And this is the dehydrator that holds a single roll of filament. Uh, right off the bat, you can see here that we have the humidity gauge that basically detects uh, the humidity inside. And it also has uh, a gauge here to set it to a specific level. And it tells you what type of material you're using as to what to set the corresponding temperature. You can also see how clean this panel is because you can see my phone <laughs> right off the reflection. So I can see here right away that it has a magnetic removable shield, which is uh, pretty nice. Most of them have hinges, uh, which a lot of times slam when you open them. I actually had one crack on me, unfortunately, but the magnet's pretty strong. It just pops off and obviously you load your filament in here. Uh, I'm going to take a look at the manual. It looks like we have some PTF tubing. Uh, that would be to run from uh, either outlet that you have here. Uh, if you're running it like someplace like out in a garage like here, maybe there's a little bit airborne moisture. The PTFE tube will help keep it a little bit more concealed and safe. And I'm just going to kind of flip through it here. Uh, it just kind of gives you the breakdown um, of what to do as far as setting it up and everything. Pretty straightforward. Oh, and they give you different languages too. So if you're speaking different languages or want to touch up on your Chinese, there you go. So go ahead, get that guy plugged in. The power button uh, is on the back. Uh, so we basically just want to go ahead and switch it on. So once you turn that on, you will hear the fan kick on a few seconds later. And then what you want to do is very simply, uh, whatever material you're using, you're just going to go ahead and adjust the dial. For the most part, uh, I usually use uh, PLA, uh, PLA Plus, uh, PETG. I don't really use a ton of ABS or nylon, so anywhere from 50 uh, to 65, depending on what you're doing. So uh, this does not come with a timer, which isn't necessarily bad because sometimes if you get really, really wet filament that is, you know, you, you go to bend it and it cracks, that's going to need quite a few cycles. Uh, of dehydration. So this is nice where you can just manually shut it off. Just set a timer on your phone or something like that. It's not going to hurt it to have your filament more dry. Moisture is not good. It is, it is going to affect numerous different things. You're going to go ahead and close the top, get it nice and tight and you're good to go. Now, like I said, it does come with some uh, PTFE tubing. Uh, so what you can do for that is you can basically just take the tubing and you push it in and obviously the dehydrator has rollers so the filament will roll. So that's really great because you'll be able to run the filament dehydrator the whole time while your print is printing. Uh, setting it up here is pretty easy. You will more than likely have to cut your PTFE tube depending on your setup. Mine here, I'm using my most recent King Rune printer. I just take my dryer box here, 
uh, suspended up on a box that way it has a nice easy access to the input on the extruder uh, got my PTFE tube in there ran the filament through just double checked anything making sure that the PTFE tube wasn't getting pulled or nothing was getting pinched everything was extruding real clean so hoping this is going to result in a nice print you will notice on the filament dehydrator that the humidity level will go down and that's what we want we don't want it staying up so you can see here that it has dropped substantially from when we first started by the time this print was finished it was actually sitting around 10 percent that's really great uh, i printed this in my garage i did not have the ac on so the humidity in the room uh, was probably at closer to about 65 or 70 percent but here you can see it kept it really low everything worked out really great with this setup kept the moisture out and the finishing result was an awesome nice clean print something like this uh, i can put some filament in here have this ptfe tube go right to my printer i can basically sit there and print in almost any condition you know obviously you don't want to push the limits too much but uh, typically if you have something like this this is going to help as long as there's not drafts and things like that i did mention that moisture in the filament can do a lot more than just give you a so-so print it can also beat up your machine to talk a little bit more about what these filament dehydrators can do beyond just giving you a quality print so we're all well aware on how a 3D printer works and the adverse effects of moisture for the most part. But there's a lot more that goes on inside that isn't as is obvious that's doing damage to the inside of the hot end. And for that, let's take a closer look. Inside your hot end and extruder, there's a lot of small intricate parts that work together when your machine is printing. And a lot of those parts can be affected when moisture is present. The filament is moved through your 3D printer being pushed along by small gears and pulleys. It's then heated rapidly to allow extrusion through the nozzle. But when moisture is present, it throws this process off. You see, as the moisture passes through through the heating element in the hot end, the moisture rapidly evaporates, causing a small air bubble. The expansion from water to air creates a small gap and it pushes the filament backwards in a reverse direction. It's forced out in twice the force and that's what's causing those tiny little zits in your print. But the whole time the printer is still trying to do its job and it still pushes the filament forward and it's built up. The reversal or pushback from the moisture puts additional stress and wear and tear on this gear. But even while the filament is being pushed in the opposite direction as it should be, the extruder gear is still spinning in a forward motion, causing it to deplete and wear out even faster. And on something like a direct drive setup like we see here, disassembling it can be a challenge in itself. Now very similar things happen on a Bowden setup, but it has even more that can be affected. On a Bowden setup, the filament is being pushed, not pulled through the hot end. So the pushback on the filament is even more harsh because there's more distance between the extruder and the hot end carriage. The result on the extruder gear is still the same in reference to wear and tear, time wasted swapping parts, and mediocre results in your prints. Beyond that, on a Bowden style, 3D printer, the additional forward and backward moving of swollen filament in the PTFE tubing can cause additional stress on the Bowden coupler and the tubing itself. The swollen filament can cause the tubing to actually move forward and backward from the coupler beating up the tubing and potentially cause it to pop off and ultimately ruin your print. All of these reactions can give you very similar symptoms of heat creep and nozzle clogs and even mimic those traits and show under extrusion issues as seen in this print here. You may find yourself second guessing your printer and its hardware, start swapping out parts or wasting time troubleshooting, doing things that you don't really need to when all along it was just moisture in the filament. All in all, adding a filament dehydrator can do no wrong. It's going to prevent potential headaches, save you time and money both in parts and filament, but ultimately give you the quality print results when it matters the most. Now that we've covered that, let me give you my final thought on this video and the Fix Dry NT1 Dehydrator. All right, guys, well, there you have it. There's a look at the Fix Dry Filament Dehydrator. Touched on a lot of points, obviously looking at the unit itself, it is definitely an upgrade from some of the other filament dehydrators that I've used. Uh, just the way it's laid out, it's got that magnetic clasp, uh, the humidity gauge in the front is really awesome. Very sleek design. It's not as bulky, again, as some of the other ones I've used. It actually comes with a manual that actually tells you uh, all the proper settings for whatever filament that you are using. So really, really uh, a nice piece. I try to touch on a lot of points that filament dehydrators can bring to the table. Not just drawing your filament, but you know the wear and tear on your printer. I can honestly tell you that I've spent probably hours um, chasing clogged nozzles and thinking it was heat creep. Uh, and then, you know, my gears wearing out in the extruder, everything that I covered, all of this can happen just from having, you know, moisture in your filament. So you can eliminate that by getting one of these dehydrators, get your filament nice and dry. Not only are you going to save time because you're not going to have to troubleshoot your printers, uh, but it is going to give you a better overall print quality. It's going to reduce and eliminate those little zits, potential stringing and things from retraction. When that moisture is present in the filament, these are all things that even if you think you have it dialed in, uh, it can mess with your print. So uh, keeping it dry, definitely going to improve your print quality. And like I said, save you a lot of time, save you some gray hairs, keep your prints looking top notch day in and day out.
I wanna thank Fix Dry for allowing me to showcase this filament dehydrator. Like I said, I've used a lot of these. These are something that I've always personally believed in, uh, but this one is definitely on the top tier. Uh, just the whole design, the way it's laid out. You can check out the whole line that Fix Dry has to offer at fixdryofficial.com. They have a nice selection of filament dehydrators. So if you're only running one or two printers and you want a single filament dehydrator like this, or you wanna dry out multiple spools, or even if you're running a print farm, they've got a solution for all your needs. I hope you liked today's video, and if you did, of course, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions on anything 3D printing related, or of course, this filament dehydrator, go ahead and leave me a comment, you know, I'll hit you back. If you like what you're seeing in my videos and you do enjoy all things 3D printing, cosplay, DIY, Funko Pops, Marvel, everything we're covering here, go ahead and click the subscribe button because I got a lot more videos just around the corner. That's it for this one, guys. Once again, I wanna thank Fix Drive for the opportunity. Make sure to go ahead and check them out. They're continuing to adding new products to their lineup, so make sure to check them out and tell them DW sent you. That's a wrap on this video on the Fix Drive Filament Dehydrator. Make sure to give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment, and click the subscribe button. And until next time, it's DW out. Later.